Hello dear student. In this video, we will start our third chapter from curriculum that is about application, session and server object. Now here we will learn how to create session object, how to create server object, application object, what is in a web configure file, how to use global.asax file, what is the use of global.asax file, web config file. Uh, then what are the sessions, difference between cookies and session, uh, what are the benefits of session over cookies, uh, what is the use of uh, this application object and server object. Now in today's video we will learn what is a session, what is the use of session management and a simple program which displays the session object properties. Now how to maintain a state or what is a state. So if we are using simple HTTP protocol and we are not uh, using any technology or any technique just like a cookies that we have learned in last chapter uh, then your data when the client visit to any server so that will be a temporary one and that information will not be maintained as HTTP it is a stateless protocol it is not maintaining any kind of state information uh, so to maintain the state information of user we have to use some techniques that may be the client side technique or that may be the server side technique so it can be maintained with the help of the cookies with the help of the sessions or server object or application objects now the state management it is a process it is used to maintain the state and page information over multiple requests so now what is a state so when client request to server any user request to a server page then at that time uh, it's a state information means identification number of that particular user along with that the data or uh, the information searched by that particular user this information can be maintained with the help of any one of the technique so that is a state now uh, this once suppose you are using stateless technique so you are not allocating any uh, data to the cookies or sessions in the form of session then once you close that web page requested by the user uh, then it will cleans all the resources now what are the resources the memory allocated uh, during the request uh, it will use different objects created by uh, during the request uh, objects such as suppose you visited one of the web page website and uh, you are using different items within that website so the objects will be get created i have given example in the last video of cookie chapter suppose you are visiting any e-commerce websites such as amazon flipkart then uh, for any of this website you are searching for some items for every item some object will be get created and your data will be stored into that object variables so that information uh, will be persist only when you are using that particular web server web application once you close that web application this information will be get vanished so when you want to persist that information for every client user so for example the items that we have visited which are stored in the form of the variables then this can be stored back to the server side or to the client side so whether you are using a cookies or whether you are using a session but by default it is cleaning all these items once you close the web page once you close the web, uh, website uh, to maintain it uh, you can use state management technique now which are these uh, types of state management one is a client side second one is a server side now it's the name is indicating client side means where the data will be kept of course at the client side and server side means the, this information will be stored on the server memory on the server side and for the client it will stored on your browser client browser settings now uh, this is some information about the client's uh, side state management so your uh, data about client will be stored on the client side and uh, this picture shows that this is a client interacting with the web server then web server next time it will ask for information to the client as the information of the client it is stored on the client machine so it is giving the information as 
I am married. I am shopping for books. I have three titles in my car, totaling dollar fifty six. So this information of shopping the books, uh, it will be kept with the client, will not be kept with the server. Now think that uh, user carrying this information, user storing information, and whenever it is requesting next time to the same website. to the same web server this information will be sent from the client to the server now what are the drawbacks as it will be sent over the internet so what can be happen so there will be the security issue this information may be intercepted by anyone uh, so third party or the hackers can uh, intercept that in that information and can hack this information from client it will act as in a this one as in a server and uh, Uh, there may be the chances of hacking this particular site so when you want to store some sensitive information just like a password credit card information when you are purchasing some things uh, then this information banking information that should not be stored at the client side so that is a drawback even every time when you are visiting from client to the server then uh you required a net connection and you have to transfer the data as you are transferring the data it takes more bandwidth now what are the benefits it saves a lot of server memory of server yes you are uh, it will be stored at the client side so server memory uh, will not be used so it will save the server memory that is the only advantage behind it next one server side state management uh here it will keep all the information on the server and it's a benefit is that you can uh, save sensitive information on the server and what can be the drawback that uh, it will use a more server memory so this is a client and this is a web server so client will be having only session information session id information and this web server will be having all the information related to the session id so it is sending just information as i am session 856 then web server will look for this 856 uh information id information so session number 856 856 is mary mary is shopping for books there are three titles in mary's cart totaling dollar 56 so this information the whole information will be stored on the web server so if you want to store the sensitive information then we will use this uh, server side technique now which are the different server side management techniques uh, just i will read it view state control state hidden fields cookies and query strings and server side state management techniques are application state and session state uh, among the client side state management technique we have learned about the cookies how to store cookies on the browser on client side even how to create a cookie how to delete a cookie and how to read a cookie all uh, that from, that is from your curriculum and server side technique we are going to learn session as well as we are going to learn application state now what are the advantages of client side and server side client side uh, it is said better for scalability as uh, every data will be stored on your uh, client machine not on the server machine it support for the multiple browser for server side state management uh, it provides the better security and reduced bandwidth so bandwidth issue or it's a drawback for the client side management but here uh, it is reducing the bandwidth as the data will be stored on the server only it will ask server will ask only for the session id number from the client and with the help of number all the information will be retrieved from the server itself so no need to carry this bunch of data information from client to the server and that's why it will uh, its advantage as in a reduced bandwidth now how how exactly the session will be managed now here you can see that these are the different clients for every clients a uh, new session will be get created so your web application client 1 requesting for a uh, website or that web items then session 1 will be created for client 2 session 2 client 3 session 3 and so on for the next clients next sessions will be get 
created so every client will be accessing different sessions so every client will be having a different session id if you want to track this session now this session it uses 120 bit identifier and it is using algorithm proprietary algorithm to generate this value now this session identification number this is a uh, number unique number and the random number now here uh, this number will be passed between server to the client using two techniques one using cookies and second using modified urls now through the cookies session id will be transmitted in a special cookie first time with asp.net underscore session id and uh, second one modified urls in this case session id is transmitted uh, in a specially modified url mung url so the url you will find that uh, this id information at the end of url will be same now this one using cookies it is a default one and it is not a url technique this is not a default one so by default it is sending data with the help of cookies and some additional mechanism we have to introduce for using modified urls so what is uh, session tracking that session id creation it's a 128 bit random number generation by default using cookies so with the help of the cookies server will send the data to client and with the help of the url uh, uniform uniform resource locator information will be changed with having id within that and that information will be sent to the client which is not supporting the cookie now how to create a session state session object for session state uh, this is a class system.web.sessionState.http session state class and it is used to create the session objects now uh, this two lines of code is given here as in a session info data set is equal to ds info that information will be stored into this info data set uh, when you want to retrieve it then you can write down ds info is equal to data set session info set uh, we will see in the next video how to create a session and how to retrieve the values uh, from the session now uh, this session state is global to your entire application for the current user entire application means we have seen we have created web application 2 for this web application 2 there are so many programs we have seen uh, so for cookies then before the cookies controls uh, toolbox controls text box list box and so on so for all these programs this session state will be, is a global for entire application within an application uh, the session state can be lost in a several ways. Uh, it can be lost, means session uh, state can be lost in different uh, cases, such as case number one, when the user closes and restart the browser. If the user close by mistakenly the browser, then the session will be lost. The, the user access the same page through a different browser window. Uh, if a user open the same web page same website page uh, through the different web, uh, browser then that will be the confusion then the third one the session times out due to inactivity uh, you might have seen for the banking websites they are giving session time out period if you are not doing anything on that particular web page then it will be become inactive and directly log out session out error will be there uh, so same third case the fourth one your web page code ends the session by calling the session abandon method so explicitly suppose your web page has been written with the session abandon method then that page code will be get end now in the first two case what are the first two case first case user closes and restart the browser and second one the user access the same page through a different browser in these two cases uh, session will be remain in the memory and after some time this will be get vanished so in these four cases your session will be get lost so we learn about what are the uh, what are the session state management client side management uh, server side management then uh, how to track the session different every client will be having a different sessions advantages of client side server side then some 
pictorial view of this client and server so in next video we will learn about session object thank you